This is a tutorial guide on how to get 10.8.1 working, or oh, mountain line working on your Z77X UD5H with a 3770K and any NVIDIA 600 series graphics card. So um, just to show you guys the specs of the system in about Mac. So it's a running 10.8.1 I've um, got an overclock to 4 GHz of the i7 with a bigger overclock to come with the water cooling in the mail. 8 GHz of Patriot 2133 MHz RAM. And yeah, so what I'm going to walk you guys through now is how to set it up with a dual boot with Windows 7 and also the steps required to get this on your Z77X UD5H and 3770K. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and yeah. Let's get into it. So guys, with the preparation, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a pre-existing installation so you can install Unibase. So what that requires is getting Snow Leopard, that is at least 10.6.8. Um, there's, there's a link in the description of the video on the screen now of how to do that. I'm not going to bother making a video over that. The other alternative to this step is getting a friend or some someone who has a complete installation of a version of 10.6.8 or later of Mac. The importance of that is that it has the Mac App Store and you're available to get to buy um, Mountain Lion from there. So um, once you've done that, come back to the video and we'll show you how to do the rest of it. The next part of the installation is installing Unibeast onto your USB. What Unibeast does, it essentially allows your USB to be the Mac Mountain Line installation. So what you need to do is you need to go to your internet browser and from there you need to put in the URL bar tonymaxx86.com. The link will be in the description. From there you need to either log in or register. Then you need to go to the resources tab, click downloads. From there, you need to go multi beast the Mountain Lion Edition, and you need to download that. You also need to download UniBeast the Mountain Lion Edition. Once you have the files downloaded, you need to extract the contents from the files. And from there, you need to go to the Mac Disk Utility. From there, you need to select the USB, click the Partition tab, Partition Layout, One Partition, click Options, make sure you select the Master Boot Record, otherwise this won't work. From there, you need to change the name of the USB to USB, and the format to Mac OS Extended Journaled. Make sure there's nothing important on the USB, as this completely erases what's on the USB and sets it blank. Once this is completed, you need to go to the UniBeast installation. Um, please note that this will not work unless you have previously purchased Mountain Lion from the App Store. The install will simply not run and you won't be able to do it. From there, you need to con follow the prompts. You need to select the USB that you've just formatted as the installation drive or s the destination. None of the options should be selected and it will prompt you for a password. This installation should take approximately 15 minutes given that it needs to copy about 8 gigs to USB drive. After the installation has completed, we will then come back and finish off the installation. So once the installation is finished, what you need to do is you need to copy the multi-beast installation files and you need to drag them into the USB so you can use them when the new system has booted. From there, you're pretty much ready to restart the system and go into the install. So I'll come back to the video and I'll be on a video camera and show you how the rest of it's done. So once your system has restarted, what you need to do is you will need to insert the USB into one of the USB ports. I've got a little hub on the side of my screen that's connected to the back of my computer. Um, my system is a Coolmaster Half X running Z77 XUD5. And so you, what you need to do is you need to turn on the computer and you need to access the boot menu. How to act, the way you access the boot menu on any gigabyte board is you click F12 when the gigabyte logo comes up. So you click F12 now. Select the USB device. For me, it's Patriot Memory 1.0. 
from there you'll select the USB click enter this should boot into the installation file um, we'll come back when the installation has loaded so once the installation is loaded you need to just click continue from there what you need to do is you just need to select utilities disk utility and you need to format the drive that you need to use um, if you're planning on doing a dual boot instead of you need to click on the partitions tab and you need to select two partitions because what you need to do is you need to install Mac before you can install Windows so and then when you're installing Windows 7 you need to install you need to format the second partition and then you could use that as your install or you could simply use two hard drives which is what I do which is much simpler so what you need to do here is you need to name your um, name the drive and the format should be Mac OS extended journal so if you're using just a Mac you just need one partition but if you're planning on dual booting off the same disk two partitions and then you just want to click next make sure there's nothing important on the drive again because it's getting formatted everything gets erased off it from there you can close that click continue um, you need to read the terms and conditions. For me, it took about 30 minutes the first time I read it. You need to select the boot, um, the drive that you wish to install on. Click install. This should probably take about 20-25 yeah, minutes, depending on how fast your computer is, or if you have a solid state drive or a hard drive. And we'll get back to you at the end of the installation. So, guys, the installation is almost done. What you need to do here, the installation is going to finish. You'll click restart. Make sure you leave the USB in because what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do the same thing once it's restarted um, go the, the gigabyte screen will come up you're going to hit F12 once it loads after this BIOS so you click F12 to the boot menu um, select Patriot Memory 1.0 and what you do instead of this time is selecting USB you want to select um, whatever hard drive you called it you want to install it onto that you want to click enter and wait for the system to load and we'll come back to you when it's all loaded so now that the system is loaded what you're going to need to do is it'll say welcome and you'll need to select country um, select your keyboard if you want to um, transfer a Mac location services um, Apple ID if you want to enter it I'm skipping through all this because I don't really need to do it um, terms and conditions accept them you want to enter your computer name your account name sorry for the bad camera work guys you know handheld phone you can't really do much but I'm trying to show you guys how to do the video so um, once you've got all that selected you want to just click enter and it's creating an account for you and then it'll come up with a prompt for the time zone select your time zone and register I'm just skipping the register thank you start using your Mac and from here what you need to do is you need to go into the security and privacy settings you'll need to unlock the little padlock enter your password and you need to change the allow applications download from for everywhere so it'll allow you to run um, multi-beast so now what you need to do is you need to go to Finder, select your USB and get the multi-beast files and drag them onto your desktop. From there you need to run multi-beast. Click continue. Agree with the terms. So you need to install Easy Beast installation. Um, you need to install Audio, Realtek ACL, yada yada yada. Click on that. Um, without DSTT and then for you need to install the last one ACL 898 you also need to install trim enabler third-party SATA third-party eSATA you don't need to install any graphics it works off the off the bat you need to install the fake SMC plugins and you also need to install motherboard plugins and the hardware monitor plugins don't install the USB 3 plugins it won't work um, big problems with that. You need to install um, Apple to 
uh, Intel and also the Atheros driver. You also need to install in customization um, system definitions um, iMac 12.2. Once that's all done, you can click continue, install, you enter your password. So while this is installing, what this pretty much is doing is pretty much changing all your drivers or your BIOS so it's compatible with this motherboard and so it'll boot off the bat with the boot manager and everything. So after that what you want to do is you want to go to finder, you want to click on the, the drive that you've selected. On this one it you need to go to um, the preferences to actually see the drive and you need to just enter hard disks on the desktop and from there click on the drive that you install it on, extras the or Charmeleon boot peel list and what you need to do is you need to chain um, graphics enable simply change the yes to no save that close and now your Mac is ready to run fully capable and what we'll do now is we'll jump into the BIOS settings and show you guys how we got the overclock working and how we can install it to boot straight from Mac and how you would go about dual booting it so yeah we'll jump into the BIOS settings and show you guys what works and yeah so guys these are my BIOS settings um, just to show you guys what I'm running I'm running i7 4 gigahertz. I'm running the F14 BIOS I think with the F14 BIOS make sure you update the BIOS before you start installing um, if you go into MIT advanced frequency settings the only thing I had to disable was a EIST function, everything else auto, um, change your, you can change your clock to 40 like your turbo core and I just showed you my um, my memory settings. Um, you just need to change the BBS settings to which drive you want first so that's the drive you just installed Mac onto, you want to have that first so the bootloader comes up and you can effectively dual boot when you have more than one drive there. Um, this is just the rest of my settings. Thanks for watching the video, just a few closing thoughts. Make sure before you start all this, you install um, the F14 BIOS. Just because when you upgraded from the F8 to the F14 BIOS, I had a lot of issues. Um, like I ended up just reinstalling my whole system to get it to work. Um, um, a few things that might add to your Mac experience is I got bought this, it's called iStat Pro. I don't remember how much it was, it's not very expensive. But it just tells you how much CPU usage you're getting, your memory, network in and out. Um, also, in Tony Mac, um, in MultiBeast, we installed the hardware monitor, and what that is is pretty much it tells you the temperature of all your CPU cores, if your CPU frequencies, your multipliers, voltages, fan RPAs, and your hard drive temperatures. Um, I think they're pretty cool. Adds to the system, makes it look more professional. Also, another thing, the front mic and the front audio ports I could never get them to work and the way I had it working at the moment is I have my speakers plugged in in the back of the motherboard there is the the black hole for the 5.0 or 7.1 audio if you just plug your normal speakers in there it should work fine another thing also is the front USB ports they only work if you plug it in so if you look at your motherboard there's the the top SATA connector which is near your front panel connectors for your power on and power off, power off, the the front USB three closest to that is the one that will work, or that I found will work with um your Hackintosh. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and like and subscribe, and hopefully we can get more Hackintosh builds, videos, tutorials in the future. So yeah.